Assalamu alaikum, bismillahir rahmanir rahim, in the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most worshipful. Guys, as you know that I'm solving the past paper of 2018 AP Calculus and I already solved question number 1 to question number 19, now we are going to solve question number 20, okay? It is a problem solving question but it will give you a proper information, okay? So, as you know, <clears throat> I'm going to just uh, uh, catch the keywords, okay? By the keywords we will solve the question. So the question is let g be a twice differentiable increasing function we have g a function and that is twice means you can just find double derivative right means you have a function that is differentiable and that is increasing functions of t means we have a function in the terms of t and you can differentiate two times and that is increasing function means the function you are watching that is continuously increasing for some for a function of t right so means we can say g is a function of t that is increasing and that is two twice differentiable increasing function right so can you imagine that you have any equation so it's very simple if you have a linear equation for example the linear function is always just think about it linear is always if you see the linear it's continuously increasing function right okay so here the question the conditions are given that g is zero is equal to 20 and g10 is equal to 220 means x x and y values are given which of the following must be true on the interval from 0 to 10 so i'm not going to take a lot of values from a lot of values or you can say from the real number because if you have any uh, linear equation the domain is a real number right from that domain we are going to take some interval which is from 0 to 10 right means the value which is greater than 0 but less than 10 okay so on these values of t we want to say that which condition are satisfied okay so i'm going to solve this question okay it's very easy questions so for example if g0 is equal to 20 so this x1 you can say x1 is equal to what 0 and x2 is equal to what 10 corresponding to this y1 is equal to how much 20 and y2 is equal to how much 220 we can just find out the slope <coughs> m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 which is what 220 minus what 10 and this is 20 minus minus 0 right so we can say m is equal to 220 minus 10 is 210 divided by 20 this one is 0 y1 is 20 not 10 right so this will be 200 so to cancel it is 20 divided by 2 right which is 10 g0 is equal to 20 g10 and x2 x2 is what is x2 is 10 right so this is 10 what happened x2 is 10 right i have written 20 and wrong so now this is what this is 10 right so you can say 200 divided by 10 zero zero cancel we have what 20 we just find out t is equal to 20 right i know the derivative okay so the question here we can just find here for example g dash t t may be 1 t may be 2 t may be 3 t may be 4 t by 5 okay so whenever you have a value of t, it means this means slope, right? This is not an equation, it's a specific number, right? So it means g prime of some values of t, it gives you a slope. I can give you an example if you can find out the equation. You know, y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1, for example. So y1 is how much, if I'm going to take this point only, x1, y1. So this is 20, m is equal to 20, right? And x minus x1 is how much 0? So you can say this is 20x and y1 is equal to how much? Is it x1, y1? x1, y1, right? So you can say y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1. So y minus x1, x1 is what? It's okay. y1 is 20 and m is equal to 20x right and this is what plus 20 
तो y is equal to 20x plus 30. According to this one, you can just calculate x is g is equal to zero, right? So this is what y is equal to 20. This condition okay. And if you put 10 here, so this is 200 plus 20. This is 220, right? So I just make an equation. Why I just made this equation so that I want I want to save something. The first derivative is 20, right? Double derivative zero. So you can say here if you say the first derivative is 20 and y double derivative is what? Zero. Now I'm going to find out, right? So as you can say, this is all the slope and the specific value of time and the time is given from 0 to 10, right? Okay. So here, can you say that the first derivative, if you say is 20 is not a 0, right? So which one is correct? This one, you can see here. Okay. If you are going to take some values of t like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, this will be always 20, right? Okay. And here, double derivative is 0. Okay. So if you say... If you say uh, you have double x right 20 this is a uh, <coughs> double derivative so double derivative is what if the second uh, the first one is 20 the second one is what double derivative is 0 okay so the question is what value of t I just put it if I put it here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so I'm not going to put here uh, t here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay? So this is, this is impossible. The derivative is 0, but which values? It's not 0 to 10. It's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So each and every value of it. So for, for some t nodes, we have all odd of values, okay? And this is what greater than. It's a 0, it's not a greater than. So only there is one condition, which is b, okay? So for some t, it is how much? It's always 20. So I hope, guys, you all understand. And the answer of this question is a B. Still, if you have a problem, you can just uh, send me a comments. Then whenever we have a time, I will discuss with you. Assalamu alaikum. Bye-bye.